I'm here with Maria Ho, who just took a trip to my motherland, the, the land of my people, Israel. How did you end up on a trip to Israel with Sheldon Adelson, of all people? Well, I didn't go with Sheldon. Uh, Sheldon oh, just his plane. <laughs> Sheldon just assisted in making this trip possible. Um, so we were going on behalf of the Omri Caspi Foundation, and Omri Caspi is the first Israeli basketball player to be signed to the NBA, which is a big deal. And he actually has a foundation uh, where he builds playgrounds for kids back in Israel of all different, you know, religious backgrounds, Israeli, Muslim, Christian, to play. Um, and I think that's amazing. And so um, it's a trip that was, you know, heavily uh, NBA players um, and some other celebrities. Jeremy Piven actually went with us. Um, and so, you know, we got to tour um, so many of the amazing historical sites. We went to Jerusalem. Uh, we went to the Holocaust Museum. We went um, everywhere that you can think of, Dead Sea. And we also got to party in Tel Aviv. So obviously we were there first and foremost for a great cause. And uh, but we also got to enjoy ourselves and I love, love Israel. Like, no joke, I will 100% be back. It is one of the, my favorite places I've ever been. Um, I'm not just saying that because you're here and it's your motherland. <laughs> I'm saying that because it's true. And I think obviously sometimes in the media there's a lot of propaganda um, that speaks um, differently of places like Israel. And I think people just need to go and check it out for themselves. I felt very safe there. I And I enjoyed everybody that I met. Everyone was so friendly and so happy to share such an amazing country with us. What surprised you the most? What surprised me the most? Um, I think just how the stark contrast between, I think, the way people will make it out to be in the media or, you know, um, people with different agendas, I think, when they talk to you, you know, I get it. Everybody has their own opinion on, you know, certain things in the world. But at the end of the day, I think what we're here to do is just share and understand each other better. And I feel like you don't have the opportunity to do that if you don't try to see it for yourself. So give it a shot. So you're planning on going back? Yeah. We should maybe go back yeah, together. I would totally go. That'd be so fun. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You, and I feel like you'd be a really good person to party with. I mean, I had fun partying, but you might be better than partying with Jeremy Piven. I don't know. I don't, I've heard like stories about Jeremy Piven, so I don't know. I've heard he's quite a party. <laughs> I don't know. I've well, never met him. Uh, no comment on that. No so. All right. All right. Oh, that's a good question. Who was the most fun person on the trip with you? I have to say Sean Marion. Um, you know, he's retired now from the NBA, but he's a good friend of mine. And he, listen, I don't know what you've heard about Jeremy Piven, but... I'm putting Sean on blast here. He's a good partier. He's a good partier. <laughs> nice. And any other NBA players that were there that we would know? Uh, Amari Stoudemire um, and uh, Rudy Gay, uh, a ton of Omri's friends that played with him on the team before. And, you know, the year before that, um, a, a lot of other Kings players. So he tries to bring new players every time. I think he wants everybody that he knows to share in this experience with him, obviously. Did you get any poker games going? Um, we did. Oh, I have some like good pictures of us playing poker on the like on the plane there. And it was like so awesome to be in that environment where it's like this is exactly what, you know, other people, especially athletes, when they're traveling, what they do. They play poker. Standard. Yeah. Are right, you me a little bit about Sheldon Adelson's plane? I want to know. I mean, it's pretty baller. I, I think it was a Boeing 747 private, like totally stripped, like just, you know, like six or eight seats in each, you know, part of the plane. I mean. I don't know, it's Sheldon Adelson. What do you think his plane looks yeah. like? I mean, how do you travel coach after that? Um, well, you know, I haven't traveled since, so that'll give you, I'm just, I mean, yeah, it's tough, listen. But, you know, I feel super fortunate for the opportunity. Mostly, you know, obviously we traveled in style. We had a lot of nice perks, but I'm so happy to be able to be a part of a trip for such a good cause. And obviously I think, you know, it's more about that at the end of the day. So, yeah. about, you know, bringing kids together and exposing them to other cultures and religions For and sure. letting them play. And how do we find out more about the foundation? Is there a website? Yeah, I think uh, I'm not sure the exact web address, but if you just Google Omri Caspi Foundation, it's probably omricaspifoundation.com. Um, but yeah, they do this trip every year. And uh, Omri is just a huge proponent of it. All right. Well, maybe you tag me along next year yeah. and then we'll definitely party in Israel. Yeah. There's going to be a link below. Omri, bring Sasha on Omri. our trip next year. Yeah. <laughs> Token Jew. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Guys, check the link below. Check out the foundation. It's a great cause. And thank you, Maria. Yeah. Thank you.